We're Nick here. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 2000 video, 2019, episode six on Ra Ravenport, I believe it's called. I always struggle with that name. So we got all of our uh, tedding equipment, the fertilizer spreader, the baler, and you know. Wow, there's some more shops in here I've never seen before. Yes, I've got more mods, and they finally came out. Shed packs and stuff like that, and I've been editing the farm and made it look a lot more real American looked. Uh, we also have four horses. Uh, I was recording a whole bunch of footage of me getting the horses and everything, and it didn't work out. Uh, I had the wrong screen on it. I got the audio, and we also bought Field 12 up here was in oats. We combined that, James and I, and all the footage just went to waste because I don't know what all happened, but it, all of a sudden it wouldn't work with us, so I couldn't get nothing. It was, I was on the wrong screen in OBS, so it's kind of my fault. I really do apologize, guys, so let's jump in here. Our combine's in this nice Quonset hut by uh, Random Sparks, I think that's his name. Uh, some reason the Wilson trailer's missing. That's weird, but okay. Uh, we did have a Wilson gray trailer here. I don't know where that disappeared, dude. But I might have sold that in an accident. My bad. Um, so we got our hay shed over here. There used to be a hay shed there. And, wow, I did some good bale stacking there, didn't I? I got them up there perfect. Yeah, looks pretty good. PJ's still back there for some reason. But, our shop in here, this is more where the skid is gonna stay. If I can get in this shed door. Okay, fine. Close. We'll fix you. We'll go in the other way. Um. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. So we got our C232 New Holland skid loader on tracks here. Uh, we got our uh, kind of a shredder, bale shredder over here. Let's run over here. We got the straw. We're going to probably not straw, straw, stack straw today. We got some lots of hay in here, but we got some more out there. So that's another job. Let's open these doors. We'll run out these because we're going to have to move stuff around with it. Uh, we got a, our case, lovely case over here. We sold those two uh, dump trailer wagons we have. So we got our auto stack wagon just got converted over. Or it's actually in the main mod section if you guys are not aware that you can download it. Quite sure you guys are aware about it, but just if you don't, there you go. Is this door going to open? Probably not. So we'll let this nice American shop open up. We got a new truck, a uh, Chevy Duramax diesel, 3500 I believe this is. We also have the Gator and the 6230R. So we're going to jump in this case here and pick these bales up really quick. Get them all plopped over there in piles. And then hopefully we will get to... Get all the grain, like all the stuff with the bean head, what I like to call the bean head. We'll get all that stuff picked or harvested, and then it's all done. We'll put it away. We'll get rid of that head, store it in the shed for the winter, we'll say. There's no seasons in here, so we can't do snow removal and any of that stuff, unfortunately, yet. But I imagine probably by Christmas we should have. I'm hoping for seasons to come. And it sounds like it. there might be GPS coming very shortly. I know a few guys are working on it. Uh, I think they were talking that they had a few more, a few problems with it. That it wasn't going to quite cooperate with them. So, it's alright. There's like two or three people working on it right now. That I heard from another guy. Um, we are going to be doing a No Creek series. But it's just, give me a little bit. I'm working on, I'm working on converting some more uh, mods and stuff. So I'm working on the planner, I'm working on a different planner and stuff, so we got some different stuff to get going on the series, better planner, because I am not using the in-game biggest one, unless I use the Great Plains, but I really don't want to use it, really. So, a little, oh yes, yes, I messed that up there. The shed ground here is another thing I really hate, but I got this pretty good, nice little... I wish I could fix that back there where it was kind of messed up before. But we're just going to whip these piles of bales over here for now. If you guys are wondering why that sand's there on each side is I had to place sand castles down. It was the only way for me to level the ridges out good or else mess it up a lot. 
Well, that's coming down. The 6155M is sitting here with the Kenzie 851 here. We got her bucket and the pellet forks and the bale spikes are on the 6230 over there. So this is more of my machine shed. The combine's got to go in the other one because it will not fit in here. But there's sprayer, the extra seed thing to put on the front, and then the extra liquid tank to put on the back of the, or the front of the tractor. Our eight row corn head, our kind of like I'd say like a what do you call that? Kind of like a dis harrow thing. And then our no-till planter. And our corn planter. So. I'll turn back out. Close this door up. Keep the birds out. Because we don't like birds. At least I don't. You know? Let me change something while we're in here. Let's go to mouse and turn that up. Oh, it's a lot quicker for me to move around. I'll have to slow that down with the loader, but... Otherwise, if we had it up at 1... It usually is around 100%, I think, but... If you crank it up any more, I think we might have uh, the uh, loader tractor bouncing up and down off the ground. If we, I wonder how fast we can s speed the loader frame up. Honestly, I want to find it out. So there's a few chunk of straw bills in here. That's nice. We're still going to need some more, it looks like it. So we're probably going to end up windrowing the rest of what we can windrow. That way we have some extra bales if we need to. We can always sell them. But eventually we'll probably get into cows and horses. We got horses. But I mean like sheep and stuff like that. Whatever else you guys want, let me know. If you guys are joining the Fireman Series for Farmer Nick, smash that like button. Oh, uh, well, Yeah, we'll be probably doing a No Creek Farm in another week or so. Give me a while to get start setting stuff up. Uh, I'm going to see if there's another uh, edit of uh, No Creek comes out. Because lots of the cell points don't work. And the gates stuff don't work I know that for a true fact so I might go in and edit it out and take all the sheds out it'll look a little weird but I don't know I'll see I might go in edit that part out delete all the sheds and stuff but I'm gonna throw it up in Giants editor I'm gonna try editing it a bit and see if I can make it better cuz yeah I'm gonna try messing with the cell points but I know I can't really do that so might just have to use placeable bins Hopefully by then there will be a natural placeable grain, grain bin, like 200, 300 bushel grain bin, and with along with an auger. So that'd be nice. Let's get her up here a little. Sorry if I'm talking a little too much, you know. It's just, I drink a few energy drinks. I've been running on not a quite a bit of sleep lately. It's just because we are going so ham on right now. It's literally probably tomorrow... Well, this is recorded on December the 5th here, so we're going really ham on plowing and everything. So, yeah. We're just really busy right now. We're hopefully going to be picking corn tomorrow. I'm hoping the corn will go for the... Well, I guess it's not going to go. It's either we're going to go pick it tomorrow. That's the thing. If it's going to be dry enough, she's coming off. There's no ifs and buts about her. Let's get this guy fired up. Let's turn up my game sound just a little. I don't know about that one. That sounds better. Oh, shucks. Took the back, uh. Took a chunk of the back off the fan. What do you call that? I can't think of the right name. I'll look for right now. Chopper. Back chopper. There it is. So, what do we got in this field? Let's honestly want to pull up my map here. So in this field of soybeans, soybeans, soybeans. So we got everything off that we need. So we got two fields of soybeans, and then we're going to go going corn. Let's get at her, boys. Let's do some nice... See, I'd like to bring this monitor. I'd like to take this monitor and put in the S700 series combine, just because it's more realistic, and that's the combine screen you should see so we're hardly gonna get enough but we gotta go get a Wilson grain trailer sometime here yet so we should do that I don't think we're gonna use the buggy just because there isn't enough for us to use up here but we will use it up in the bigger fields don't you worry and I hope OBS doesn't mess up I put a note on my computer desk here when I'm recording and I want to make farm simulator videos I have to be on the farm simulator screen I renamed it specifically farming simulator 2019 screen 
So it's a little different. I don't know if I got something messed up in OBS when I was setting the screen up for Farming Simulator 2019, but hey, it, it all works in the end. That's all I care about. I thought those brake pedals... Yeah, that's kind of cool. Too bad there wasn't an actual parking brake over here, but the two uh, pedals for the brakes there... Because uh, back wheels, you could steer. You could steer your combine technically with the brakes, too. We have had to do that. Like those two pedals down there, I push when I slam on my brakes here. Those two, we've had to steer our combine with them because it was so muddy. Yeah, sounds really weird, but yeah, we had to do that one time. So we're just gonna pick all these soybeans here. Um, there's a way you can check how many acres and stuff we picked. So when we get this field done here, we're going to have a quick look and see how many acres we got off. I'm not quite sure how many acres this field is, but I know it's not the best. Uh, the weed control, we didn't get to them quick enough, so... Turns out you have to spray the weeds as soon as you can. Because otherwise, you will have to harvest your weeds like this. There's no way of burning them off or killing them, whatever you like to say. But, yeah. Alright, I'm going to start stop talking a little less than... Uh, let you guys listen to the, the game volume here a little bit. We're just going to back it up down here, I guess. Do you think we can harvest corn with the grain head? I don't think so. Sorry about that, guys. I was texting lots of people there. All asking where I am, you know. Phone doesn't stop ringing or taxing. And kind of gets annoying. It kind of sucks when you're... It's it's not necessarily that it sucks, but it's just... When I was planning on doing lots of other stuff and plans changed here as I got home and had supper and I had a quick shower because I haven't... I had shower because I haven't. I don't like a shower in a few days. So maybe one or two. So let's turn this guy off. Beans do not ever yield the best either. So that's a advantage about the beans. We'll probably be able to just go along and run up here and get. We'll hire a worker up here. We'll run and get the. We'll go get the semi since the combines out of the shop or the. Quonsa Hut, whatever you guys want to call that shop, shed, and then we'll run up there, grab that, uh, we'll have to probably buy that trailer back, and go from there. Looks like this way is the best way to do this field. Let's get this guy going. Get him rolling. Let's find our nice, lovely old semi. Run her up to the shop there, quick. 
I love these semis are in here. They're a lot better than the ones in... The ones were in FS-17. I wasn't too fussy on them, but I like the FS-19 ones. But there's already a lot... I think there's already, like, maybe two semi-mods already out there of Kenworth and Peterbilt, I believe. So that's kind of nice. There'll be probably an old dump truck or something here in a bit. That'd be nice, too. Have an old, nice old straight truck or for grain or, you know, mess around with. That'd be nice for the small, like, our operation. I'd like a straight truck. It's like a little truck with a little hopper on the back of it, like, for holding. It's like a basically, like, a little trailer with grain, like, a hopper on the back. Like, it's like this size of a truck, a little bit longer. You guys probably know what I'm trying to say, but, you know, I'm tripping over words. I'm tired. It's just, I gotta keep making videos, you know? Because I want you guys to see the content. You guys probably don't want a day of missing anymore. We're going to get back on the grime. At least I am. I don't know about Tirebug. I haven't talked to him in a while. I've been busy working on. We could buy these two trailers, but I don't want them. I want the Wilson. What trailers do we have here? White, silver. That's the black. Must be this one. Yeah, that's it. Right there. There we go. Let's buy you up. Look at that nice trailer there. Let's back this boy up. Think we can use the mirrors? Oh yeah. I think they made the mirrors a lot easier. I don't know about backing up, but I know they made the mirrors a lot better in FS19 in my opinion so you can actually see some so that's a nice advantage um, their giants are slowly making the game better more realistic in my opinion too like this is realistic that there is actually hoppers I had to think of that one for a minute I don't know why but I'm stripping um, I had to th think about that so there's hoppers in FS19 that's a nice feature right there I like how there is these hoppers, because now they're really going to America, in my opinion. There's John Deere. Like, they're starting to get all the brands in here. Be for not long, you know. There'd be probably Kubota next, maybe in a bit. I don't know. Kubota isn't really too popular. Maybe I'm just thinking too much quick or something. But do you guys think there'd be ever Kubota in Farming Simulator? Something? Let me know. By dropping a comment. So we're going to back this guy in here. We'll bag it kind of straight into the field. The higher worker will get that. We could go, uh... Just back this guy right up in here. Leave him sitting there. What else is there for me to do around here? Um, we don't want that guy. Let's see if we can get the skid loader going. Might as well get the skid loader going move some bales. Alright. Let's back this bad boy up. Hey, back up. Okay, glitch through the ground. Yep, yeah, do that. Glitch through the ground. Sounds cool. Or do you guys want to go for a horse ride? I'll go riding a horse? Let's go do that. That sounds better than moving bales, in my opinion. Actually, I, I, I kind of like moving bales, honestly. Like, that's what I really like doing in FS19 when I had my uh, 568 baler, I believe it was. Do you want your one? So we're going to take this old horse, horse for a walk. Get out. Away we go. So we are... Uh, we can trot. We're trotting right now. Now we're, now we're cruising. We've got her in high gear. He's huffing and puffing. It's not too good usually to run your, take your horses on the asphalt or it's easier on their shoes on like the gravel or grass or something like that. Um, collision there on that hydro pole. Giddy up. 
Now we're trotting. Through the weeds we go. Think we can d jump or semi? We're gonna have a little fun here. Let's jump. Let's go and uh, jump some semis if we can. I don't think we got enough speed. Oh no, buddy. You okay? My bad. You stuck? Think we can race the combine by trotting? Oh yeah. Right up and down our field. That's what we should do during uh, summer. We should uh, go ride our horses. Let's go this way. I've never been over here. Was there a cell point down here? I think there is. Or is this the cell point that I was here actually the other night on the server? On the server I have on squad. On my channel I have a dedicated server that uh, Carson and all of us play on once in a while. We do live streams on there. So if you guys want to see some live streams, uh, just go and check out the Game Bros. Link will be in the description as always. Yeah, this is like the bailing cell spot right here. I think we can get her up that hill. Hey. Whoa. Got it. We're walking up the hill. We're walking up the hill the way we go. And we glitched, so let's back it up. Now we're backing down the hill. Let's just pose there, look at your American flag for all you Americans. Alright, let's see if we can get out here. Hey! Come on, let's go. Giddy up. Giddy up. Let's run back to the farm, grab another horse. Because we have to give them, like, um... You have to play with them, I guess that's the right term for them. Give them exercise. That's another thing you have to do with the horses. So the hire just completed its task. Cool. We're gonna run back up this trail if we can get up this. What's this? A nice little satellite tainer tower here. Looks like it. We're just going through all the trails, you know. Of course, you can't turn that good. At least my driving a farm sim of horse isn't too good. Trust me, I can drive a horse pretty darn good in real life because I do it all the time at fairs. Now the horse wants to really go. It seems like it. Come on. Wanna go through the cornfield? Get lost? Carson, sh James should have some marks over here somewhere. There we go. Down through the cornfield. Here we come. Nah, I shouldn't sing. I know. You guys think I'm bad. Yeah, yeah, I get it. No more singing for me. Yeehaw. Alrighty, let's check our animal status here. We took this one. Alright, it's up there. They need water. Badly, apparently. I thought we had a water trailer once. Hmm. Okay, we don't have a water trailer. You know what? Let's buy a water trailer. But which one do we want? Um, I think it's under animals. Yes. Do we want this little guy? I know we need that. Let's buy that piece of equipment. And the love. Let's use this one. We've That's look perfect. What piece of equipment are we going to use to haul him back and forth? That 6230R. Sounds like a job for it. Or we could take the trusty Duramax. Let's take the old Chevy Duramax up there and get the uh, water trailer or the mixer, mixing wagon. Whatever you guys want to call it. Run up there, grab that thing quick. Um, we got a placeable water tank station, refill station back there. We'll get that going here shortly. 
Um, I'll get that cleaned up. We'll get the combine back home. And next video, we'll get the corn all picked. And we'll work on plowing. Yee. Yee. <laughs> um, and then we'll find a, a plow, and we'll get plowing. Probably end up, if I can't get... I'll probably work on getting a Case 875 ripper inverted or converted if i can't get that converted in time i want to make the video i will uh just buy a normal like three for plow mobile plow like three to five for plow uh, we could probably pull like a six for to tell you the truth back up this water tank milker the reason why i went with this one is so eventually if we wanted to use this trailer when we get cows down the road if we get cows that way we could haul milk with it too so even though you probably wouldn't use the same trailer to do haul milk and water at the same time unless you really flush it out pretty good but I don't think the horses want to drink cows milk or the cows want to drink their own milk Probably in a way, but I think they'd get a little... I think the milk would get a little sour in it. Eventually. Or am I just making all this stuff up? You guys let me know. It's pretty good. Holy smoke. She's out of control. Bang! There goes our tire. Alright, sorry about that, guys. If you guys have some names for these horses, I'll pick maybe some names. If you guys got some names for horses, if I don't have them picked by now, I'll have to see. But I was thinking, I want to name one of them John, just because that's one of the horses I show in real life here. So, yeah, let me know if you guys want me to do my names in real life. Or did you guys? I can't remember if you guys said that or not. But anywho, let me know by some horse names and we'll go from there. Fill this bad boy up. James complains that it takes 10 years to fill up, but I don't see that. Alright, we're full. Oh, we gotta load on, boys. Ooh, come on. Turn around. Here we go. Load water. Alright. Brakes. Forgot, didn't have any. Alright, let's run back up to the shop. We'll grab that mixer. We'll throw some hay bales in it. That way we got some hay bales stuck in it for next time when we're going to use it. Because we will probably need to feed the horses eventually. And let me know if you guys want us to get another two horses. Uh, we can grab another two horses or maybe four more. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know how many horses we should get. I think that pen is a small one. So we should be able to hold eight. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Or six. One or the other. But let me know if you guys want me to really fill that horse paddock up. I can if you guys want me to. Uh, let me know what other animals you guys want next, and we'll make her happen, hopefully. Probably going to pick up a, some more land here shortly. Uh, it just depends how I'm feeling, you know, if the neighbor's going to feel good, or else we might do some custom work for a once in a while here. I think we should do some custom work one of these days, you know. Might be a good idea. Back it up. I've never used this mixer before, never bought it. First time ever buying this Coon mixer. Uh, this is a realistic mixer in my uh, neck of the woods here. Uh, neighbor has one of these for his uh, beef herd. And then another neighbor has one of those TR machines. Big mixer that we had back in FS17, one of them. And then there also is the one that you can drive around, but no. The driving thing, I don't like that idea. So, we're just going to keep going how we're doing. I like my way. 
Plus, we're a small farm, and we don't need a big and a really efficient mixer, because why? We are not going to use it a lot. We're only going to make it use it maybe three to five times a month. So, in real life here, you need to be feeding these horses twice a day or more. That's what we feed ours. Actually, we know we feed them about three times a day in the winter, but during the summer we only feed them two because we're at a horse show. But they get their uh, they get their hay earlier in the morning, so I guess they still get three. But we just give them a couple of flakes here and there during the day and some water. That's what all we give them. Square bales. That's what we feed them. Little dummy square bales, you know. Let's back up to this 40-foot PJ and drag it up. That way it's up here. Now, can we get this guy in there? That water trailer's gonna have to go in there eventually. We're gonna take the corner of the door over there. We don't wanna take that one out. So we'll just bag it up. Let's go ahead and get this thing Closer to that uh, livestock trailer, or horse trailer, whatever you guys like better. Hopefully it isn't too much of a pain in the rear end to uh, get the Wilson trailer in there. Might have to move some more stuff around. We'll have to investigate. This truck will not go through this door. I will show you. Well, it wouldn't let me drive it through, so we'll find out if we can back it out. Yeah, see, it's not. Now it's stuck. So I just park it here because it's the perfect spot for it. But even though we got to use, we got to move around to use it. So let's go see if we can get two high bales down here quick. Bring them down here for the skid steer. Perfect. Let's back up, grab this mixer. Let's run her over here. Want to crank this guy on? That's kind of cool, yeah, you can hear the PTO moving. See, it's kind of spinning. Alrighty, let's jump in this skid loader here. I wish they'd make some more new hauling skid steers. We could probably get two of these at the same time. Without losing one. No. Alright. That guy can hardly uh, lift over the top. Oop. So it took the forks off with this thing and wrecked it. Would have not been good. That would have been a nice treat. We're only going to put three bales in it just because it's not going to be quite full. But I think they're stocked up on hay too. Because I know these horses, when they are actually hungry and empty, they do take about two bales or one and a half or so. I think it'd end up coming to. When I had it on the mixer. Or how did I do that for? I put in the actual uh, feeding that blower thing, I used it as a mixer feeder thing too, so. But this is more realistic. Oh, it is 
Sweet. Shut this guy off. Let's back this thing up in the shop where it's probably gonna spend most of its life over there. Just cause that's probably where it's gonna mostly sit that way. Don't have to come over and open the doors if it's like early in the morning when I want to feed horses, you know. It's nice and easy to be in here. All you do is push one button and turn a key. Put the tractor in gear and away you go. Nice and easy. Oop. Looks about good there. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Don't forget to turn on post notifications and don't forget to leave a comment if you got a question or concern or anything you guys need to let me know or tell me. Just leave a comment, you know. Uh, let me know that you like this video, and I will see you next time. Thanks, guys.